Alrighty, good morning ladies and gentlemen. Welcome. Today we're doing something quite a bit different, something we've never really done before. Right now I'm sitting in this little thing. This is a brand new 16 foot fiberglass center console from the guys at Sea Change Boating. It's a brand new boat. It's never been released before. Built by the Haynes guys and uh, we're gonna go do a little test run. We're gonna give it a little review and then next week I'm gonna take it for two weeks on the road up north and we're gonna put it through its paces mate we're gonna catch some fish and we're gonna have a good time right now you can see no sounder no electric we got the 60 Susie on the back mate and this is as bare as she comes CB boat and it's a brim. Dare say the fish will only get bigger for this boat from here on in. From one little brim we're going to turn it into a few big GTs, Barra, you name it, we're going to try and catch it. So one of the main things you guys watching at home probably want to know is what's this boat going to be worth? How much is it going to cost you to get one of these and be on the water? So we've got the big dog himself, Ryan from Haynes. Hi Ryan. Hey buddy, how are you? Pretty good. What's it going to cost for someone to get one of these? They start at $11,900 RRP. That's the BA, so pretty easy to understand the BA. It's a bare ass edition, so it's the open hull edition. We have four models, the BA, the tiller, the center console as you see today, and the side console. The configurations change, they're customizable, they're buildable, you can self-build, you can buy a spec model, but it literally runs from a bare ass model all the way through to these bigger side consoles, casting platforms, all the center console like we have here today. 40 horsepower to 80 horsepower. We put together a BA at work. We've got a bare ass on a second hand trailer on a gum tree, 40 horsepower. And it works out to be about $13,000 floating on the water. That's ridiculous. Depends man. how you want to do it. Yeah, I think that's one of the cool things though is what the guys were saying earlier, you can buy the, the bare ass model and you can pick the parts you want, you can chop and change and you can fully customize this boat and make it exactly how you want it. A guy bought a tiller steer and he went, oh yeah, I might try a center console. So you can literally get the console, whack it in yourself, get the guys to whack it in, they can do that coming. Yeah. And you can totally change your boat. So I think it's really cool and it's a really like, I guess, different way to do boats in Australia. I don't think anyone else is doing this. First time, new concept for us too. Um, obviously being a 50 year old Haynes boat building family. But the big thing is like every part that we build, we're sending a YouTube video clip with it. So yeah. you can actually follow the YouTube clip and fit this casting platform. I'm sure that we'll have uh, Brooksy catching fish off it over the next week. But this part can be sent out and delivered and fitted by you or an account partner for SCBX boats can literally uh, fit it for you if you want it that way. But yeah. They're buildable, they're customizable. We've opened up boating to a whole new category yeah. and we can't wait to see the best, the best of them, the Frankensteins, but everyone's gonna be having fun on the water. So that's what we look forward to. We're about to tease uh, Brooksy with four models this afternoon. So he gets to see every one of those on the water from 40 horsepower to 80 horsepower, uh, including the one behind us, which is obviously a high flyer. It's one of our fastest additions. So you'll see some footage of that later. I know it's a quite a quick little review thing obviously I've never really done a boat review video before but you're going to see more of it over the coming weeks but um, it's pretty cool to get the word directly from 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 the horse's mouth oh my god there's the biggest flathead I've ever seen man sorry but there was two flathead like this big just there um, sorry I got a little bit off track there Ready, mate. Alrighty, that's it. We're in. We've been on the water all day, smashing it out with these epic little boats. Heaps of footage that you'll see. 
Well, that you would have already seen in this video and if you want to see more and find out a few more in-depth details check out the seachangeboating.com.au and you'll be able to see all the tech stuff all the rest of the photos and imagery from today and look what the cat dragged in eh, when we got back to the boat ramp what'd you catch? Yeah, a little snapper on a soft plastic and nice golden trevally at the end so that's good finish off the day with a nice golden i only caught a brim but i only fished this morning I lost a flat in quarter brim. Today is the start of something pretty cool and something that's been coming for a while. We're gonna do a bunch of what you'd call extended road trips, I guess. And the whole idea behind it is to travel locally and help out local businesses in Australia after coronavirus. Today, we're at the Haynes factory, picking up a new boat. We just picked up a new car yesterday. And we're about to hit the road. Spent the day in this new boat the other day. Since then, the guys have kitted it out. They've put Simrad electronics in it. They've put Sea Deck on it. The guys from Minn Kota Australia have given us a brand new Minn Kota for it. We're ready to roll. Big drive ahead today. We'll say good day to the boys and we'll have a look at the boat, mate. She's looking pretty bloody good. We're doing a little tour of the whole Haynes setup. We got Ryan again from the other day. Mr. What's your role even? Uh, generally managed stuff, that's what they call it. Oh, generally managed <laughs> stuff, all right. Yeah. Um, and one of the big things that these guys want to put forward and one of the big things I noticed from um, taking that boat out the other day, a lot of people asking where it's made. A lot of people assuming it's made in China because of how cheap they are. But they're made right here, so we're going to give you a little tour um, of the whole setup, where the boats are actually made. Let's go have a look. Okay. So we got... So yeah, boardroom there. Um, this is where my big contracts are going to go down, son. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the big stuff. That's where the magic happens. Is there. this your office? Oh, yeah. Look, actually, you like, you like the wall. The wall's cool. How many SCB up there yet? Yeah, because we've only just got Oh, photos. what? Yeah, so... Who's that guy, mate? Yeah, that's the boys. Now? A poultry section here. Uh, coming with standby. It's an original John Hayne Senior comment. Uh, obviously when you're building something for yourself, you build it a little bit more and that's one of our mottos. That's amazing. It's, so, so everything is done in here? Everything is done in here from a boat boarding point of view. We'll show you the, uh, the new boat that's been posted on here. You can see the big butter. Okay, you can shoot it out. Yeah, right. Hey mate, how are you? Good. So this is the same as um, Maddie's boat, the boat that we've been fishing out of the last few trips that I've been up there. Even the same colour. Yeah. So that's it before anything happens. Wow. What's in here? Everything. The Suzuki world, the SCB world, the distribution. So this is how we split the facility. The manufacturing on one side, yeah. SCB and Suzuki Marine on this side. So this looks like my lure storeroom for my lure sales at home, mate. <laughs> here will serve us. Around 120 Australian dealers. Yeah, right. Uh, around 18,000 part lines. It has the outboard motors, the spare parts, the consumables, the spark plugs, everything you need for an outboard motor. Yeah, right. Uh, you have all your lower units here, the gearboxes in case you haven't uh, damaged, mainly insurance claims or yeah. you know, accidents with yeah. capital replacement. Your SCB gear uh, is also mixed in within this facility. So what's that? That's detailing buckets. Yeah, right. So that's like everything comes with um, in one bucket. So yeah. Yeah. Detailer, yeah, yeah, spot remover. Brooksy might need one of them. One of the things I think that's pretty important, we were just talking about as well. When I was testing the boat out and taking it for a spin the other day, I was sitting on like 5,000 revs and I was getting 4.1 kilometers per litre with the 60 horsepower Susie. So that is pretty bloody good. This is called the revival process. Yeah. Resin injection, vacuum assisted, yeah. Um, the difference between open mold and closed mold, but the, the main difference is you put all the materials in in dry. Yeah. You have a counter mold that goes down over the top of this. Yeah. Um, you, you get an exact thickness every time. Yeah. You get the exact weight that you want every time if it's calibrated on. Yeah. Right. Um, how much resin you can use that injection machine, press the button, say five kilos of resin. So it's perfect. Every constantly, you've got no variables. Not very many, no. Yeah, just, right. Just, 
human variables. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I don't reckon there's many variables with this guy on the job. No, Look at no, it. Hey? For me, I, I obviously have no idea about how boats are even made. I just get in a boat, drive around, catch a fish, or try to catch a fish. So okay. this is all like super new to me, and it's fascinating, man. Like, we are the opposite. We know how to build boats. That's yeah, kind of yeah. <laughs> some do, yeah, some don't. Yeah, well, I struggle a lot of times as well, so no way. What are you, what are you, what are you making here, mate? So, yeah. This is uh, the side console for the SCB boats. Yeah, right. And uh, yeah, we just started, so just adding a couple of um, extra glass for you know, joints. And, yeah. Uh, yeah. And when will that be? When will that be ready for? In about uh, two hours. Yeah. Two yeah hours. Right. We'll yeah. be able to uh, close the mold and start pumping. Yeah. Resin. So. And when will the product come out of the mold? Uh, it will come out tomorrow yeah. morning, but it will be there. Yeah, yeah right. And then how long for the whole process for the boat to be on the water and ready? Ooh, at the moment, from start to finish. Every week we have boats coming out of the process. Yeah. From start to finish, um, with, with our usual production, mm -hmm. it'll be around two weeks. From the time that we yeah. roll one to the time that gets onto a truck to a customer. Yeah, right. But we can't do the boats in two weeks. Yeah. There's so many in front of the system. Yeah, yeah, system. yeah. She's warm in here, huh? Yeah. So this is the difference, another difference uh, between the process, the open mold and cold yeah. mold. Yeah. Yeah. This is a control. Uh, yeah. Temperature. Is that just to so the resin goes off perfectly every time and there's no variables in? Yeah. Right. So the resin we uh, we always set uh, the yeah um, the right uh, temperature. Yeah. To, um, yeah. Right. To be used at this 24, 25, 25. Yeah. It's like making, I, I used to surf a lot and I know a lot of guys that make surfboards and it's a similar kind of thing with, um, yeah, but just a lot more expensive. system itself, obviously it's a vacuum uh, assisted system. Yep. So once the part, the, the glass is all laid down onto the part, close the molds and then hook into the, the vacuum system. Yep. So we've got two pressures here, one bar, half bar. Yep. That's two, one bar will keep the molds closed mm -hmm. and the half bar will assist uh, on the pumping process. Yeah, right. We pump the resin in the, the yeah. machine with the pump and suck it on the other end yeah. to help the resin flow. Flow through, yeah, yeah, right. That's incredible. It is. And that's why it's always precise. Yeah. Close to perfection. Yeah, right. Every part will come out the same. That's the finished product of the side console we were just watching. When you get your SCB, you have the option of ordering like to the side console, the center console, whatever the bloody hell you want. So, so this product would come out in a get grinding bay to clean up the, the what they call the flange. Yeah. Once it gets the grinding bay, you will have a couple of SCB touches like the pocket here. Yep. Uh, and then literally this would be clean space for any style of electronics. Yeah, right. Steering kit and control box fit there. So. Sweet as. Simple as that, mate. Yeah, yeah. Hey? Goes together like a glove. And there we are. Brand new Isuzu MUX, mate. And the brand new SCB. Look at that. A little centering. So you can see the C deck that's in there. That the guys cut out for us. We got the electric on there. Brand spanking new trailer. We're ready. On a little bit of like a deeper personal level, this is like a pretty momentous occasion for Brooksy because to get for one trip and to have these kind of companies come on board, the Haynes Group, Isuzu, is pretty bloody special for me and it's been a lot of years and years of hard work to get to this point. So I'm super, super excited for this trip to get on the road and um, show you what these things can do. Hopefully you guys learn a little bit today about the whole boat building process. I certainly learned a lot because I knew nothing about it. And um, like I said, a lot of guys asked and there's the proof. The boats are all made here. I had so many messages after I put the Insta stories up from the other day testing this thing out. Um, if you wanna learn more, what's the best thing to do, Ryan? Jump on cchangebrodian.com.au yep. or uh, follow your channel for the... Uh, yep. I'm happy to answer any questions you guys have got. You can hit me in the comments below on this video. Send me a message on Instagram, whatever. If there's anything I can help with, I will endeavor to do so. We're about to hit the road and the whole 
massive journey is about to begin. I've got a long drive, and by this time tomorrow, hopefully, a couple fish, mate. Alrighty guys, fast forward two weeks, I just got home from what was a very wild, tough, but amazing trip. We covered over 5,000 kilometers in the car. Don't know how many kilometers in the boat, but it was a total mission. I've been sleeping for two days and um, just got into editing. So what I wanted to do was give you a little um, insight into how I found the boat on the trip because after all, this is a review video. I've obviously fished in a lot of boats. I've fished in good boats, I've fished in bad boats. I have no real affiliation with Haynes or anything like that. They gave me this boat for this trip, which is amazing um, to review it and test it and put it through its paces and give my honest opinion. I was truly, and I think everyone that I fished with on the trip was very surprised with how it handled and how it dealt with conditions we fished. A lot, every day, um, from rivers, islands, out in the middle of nowhere, punching out to the Cinder Jetty in 25 knots, all that kind of stuff. So we dealt with a lot of different conditions, did a lot of different fishing, and I was really, really surprised with how good this boat was. Lucinda Jetty morning, we were punching out. Arnie was in his boat. Arnie had to turn around and go back, and me and Ryan kept punching. So there you go. I don't know what more you can say. Obviously, fiberglass, super soft riding. Kobe and Ryan Gill were sitting up the front in the beanbag the whole time, running out to the islands, um, which you'll see in the next video. Yeah, it's a center console. Center consoles, you do get wet, but I've been in a lot wetter boats, believe you me. I used to run around in Bergie's Benito all the time, and I was getting wet in the river. So, overall, I think it's a really, really good boat, for, especially for the size it is. It's incredible, um, and for the price, I don't even need to keep chirping on. Um, I don't want it to sound like I'm giving you a sales pitch or something, but I truly, truly, no, no bullshit, think this is an amazing boat, and like I said, for the price, you can't really beat it. Like, tinnies are more expensive, so, what do you do? That's it for this video, I know there's not too much tech stuff in it, because like I said a thousand times, I know nothing. If you wanna see the tech stuff, jump on the Sea Change boating website, and you can see all the specs, all that kind of stuff, get in contact with those guys, and, um, yeah, you can get your own boat. It's one of the cool things, if it was me and I was buying one of these boats, I would obviously change a couple of things. For me, being a tall beanstalk, I need that console just a little bit taller. Um, I'd get the extended casting deck option as well, which gives you obviously extended casting deck and more room for storage or a live well, esky, that kind of stuff. I'd whack in a lot more rod holders because on this trip we only had three rod holders, so we had rods everywhere. But, um, Apart from that, lots of room. You'll see in the next few videos we fished three of us popping for GTs all day in a 16 foot boat and no one hooked each other, so that's definitely a win. And um, yeah, fuel consumption on that little engine, great. A lot of guys asked, is it powerful enough? I think, yeah. And it's, um, I was cruising at like 50Ks most of the time, which is bloody quick enough, I think. You can definitely feel it if you've got three people in the boat, um, just off the mark, it's a little bit more sluggish. But I think as far as balance goes for that boat, the 60 is amazing. I haven't been in the 70 or the 80 yet, but I think it feels really good and rides and balances really well. So yeah, that's it. Take for it what you will. Um, I try and always be as honest as possible with this kind of stuff. If it was a heap of shit, I'd tell you. But, um, I really enjoyed it, and I think it's a really, really good boat, and yeah, that's it. I hope you enjoyed. First part, I know, no fishing in this one really, apart from the big old brim, but the next video is going to be a real doozy, that first day on the road, and um, we smash them. Thanks heaps for watching. Please stay with this series if you enjoyed this video. This series is only going to get a lot, lot better, and we're going to finish with a big old bang.